Hi, here's a quick tutorial of a new iPad app uh, in the App Store called sketch to graph This is made by Fluidity Software, uh, the makers of Fluid Math. So with sketch to graph uh, instead of writing an equation and getting a graph, I can draw a graph and find out the equation that best matches it. This version supports uh, lines, parabolas, and ellipses. So let's jump in and, and try it out. If I draw a line on the page, um, my line disappears and is replaced with a plot of the math in the top left here, which matches the line that I drew. I can click on these red dots, which are control points, and change the, the line, the points that the line passes through. If I click on the background, I can move the, the graph around to get a better view. And If I use two fingers, I can um, zoom in and out. Okay, now up in the left here, you'll see the algebraic form of this, this equation, uh, if, of this line. Lines happen to have multiple forms, so this is two-point form. Um, if I click on that, the math itself, it'll cycle to another form of line. So this is the familiar slope-intercept form. If I tap on it again, I can see the general form for this line. And here's point-slope form. And finally, here's uh, intercept form. If I click on the D button, I can I can drag these points, and now they're not going to snap to discrete values. They're going to be continuous values. Uh, when you're done, you, or if you want to draw a new, get a new plot, you can hit the X on the algebraic form in the top left, and it'll go away. Uh, I'm still in the panning and zooming mode for the graph, so I have to click on the pen, and once I've done that, I can draw my next graph. So let's try a parabola. Let's say I want to know what is the math for a parabola that looks like the blue line I drew. I just draw it and then it's going to get replaced. One thing you can do to help learn something new is um, try moving these control points and comparing or uh, studying the, the math equation and seeing what's changing. So if I drag this this parabola up and down by grabbing the point at the vertex, what's changing in the algebraic representation? It is only one value. So I might guess that that value has to do with the vertical position of the plot. And in fact it does. Let's instead drag it horizontally. So if I grab it and drag it left and right, now a different value is changing. So if I want um, this to be at maybe the point uh, 2, or sorry, minus 7, 2, I can drag it over here to minus 7 and move it up to. And you take a, uh, study the algebraic representation and you you may figure out uh, what you need to write mathematically to get a plot like this. Finally, I'm going to drag one of these upper control points and just drag it down and up. And you may notice that, again, only one value in the algebraic form is changing. So you can um, might guess, again, that that value has to do with the shape of the bend. OK, uh, just to, if you tap on the algebraic representation, we can change the form again. And here's standard form. And this, this is useful, but it's, um, it's hard for people to understand the relationship between those numbers in the graph. So I'm going to tap on it again to come back to vertex form, which is more intuitive. OK, let's look at ellipses. Um, the last type of shape it, um, this app recognizes is ellipses. So I'm going to draw um, an ellipse up here in the top right. And it's going to replace my drawing with a graph and the math that generates the graph. And again, it has control points that you can play with. And you could do the same sort of um, activity to study, as I move these control points, what changes in the math, the algebraic form. OK, and if you want to, you can, you can click on the pen here again and, and add another graph um, on top of the one that's already here. So you can put multiple ones up at once. OK, enjoy. Hope you have fun with the app. Thank you.